hi guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a wedding magazine using photoshop so let's get started so i'm going to use a3 paper size Type it the name as our wedding magazine. The measure is landscape. Then set up your guideline 50% Vatican. Then here is around 47, then and 52. Sorry if I'm being fast here. okay so then these ones are 55 percent and 54 percent guideline then input the horizontal 95 and 5 percent horizontal so now draw a rent angle here follow the guideline Then also a guideline. Then lift the center. So now I have two red angle for the front cover and the back cover. So import this image. This is for the first cover. Then you drag it down, leave it this way. Why I'm doing this is to create a space where I will input my typing at the top of it. Then you draw another rectangle here. Bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to copy this color code. then paste it apply your layer mask it's okay like this then i use the arrow key then to bring it up that is the image so that the line there will not show okay you can see there is no line there again so i'm using the arrow key then to do adjustment to cover the line there always zoom in and zoom out so that you can see the clarity of your work you can see then i have to drag it this way because I place it on the setter guideline, so I'm going to remove it, then also shift this rent angle, hold down your shift key, so then, because that setter guideline is for the center page.
okay now i'm going to draw another rent angle at the bottom here then you stop here it's okay then i'm going to use this color then apply your layer mask i may change this color because i'm not sure if this is exactly the color i want but as we progress there may be changes so let's continue for now so you also see that i reduce the opacity so keep note of that you can see i'm trying to get a color from the background picture Then I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. All right, so now I'm going to change the font to this font here, which I'm going to leave in the description. Then copy wedding. Increase the font size, increase it enough, then I will position it at the center. Then, this is my first rectangle. So, what I did is to select the wording and the first rectangle, apply vertical alignment so that it will be centralized. Then now, increase the font size. Then, bring this one around here then i'm going to draw a ribbon here so wash it closely then apply red color Then click on it to reduce the size. So like this, then you click on that wrap logo.
Now I'm going to reduce it Reduce it small. What I did is to duplicate it, then I reduce the one I duplicate. Then select work again, adjust the corner here. Then also click here and adjust it. It's okay. Then select this one. Then apply stroke. you see now i have a white stroke line now okay then select the wrap again i want to adjust this area and this place Then adjust this one up. All right. Now I want to type here now. So you can see how the mouse change over there. So then you click. then i'm typing manually you can also copy and paste your test then i'm going to alight it all and increase the font size it's too much i will do i will reduce it a bit So okay like this. Then I'll bring it down and place it inside. And I will reduce the font size again. Then increase it a little. Okay. Then select the rent angle, the two of them, and reduce the size. Make sure you hold your shift key. Okay. import this then you reduce the size then you place it around here okay now change the blending mode to screen Then I'll copy this text here. Then Ctrl plus B to paste. Then change the font.
place it at the center of the cycle there. Also apply vertical alignment so that it will be centralized. Now copy the couple's name. Then change the fonts. Then place it at the center. Increase it a bit. Then select them and apply vertical alignment. Then also select our first rectangle, apply vertical alignment. So they are all centralized now. Now I will draw a rectangle here. So change it, the color, then reduce the opacity to 31. So drag it this way, that is my test tool. Then change the font. This is Josephine Sands. So this place is for information. So this is where you place your information. If you have any informations, maybe like date and time or whatever information given to you so this is an example of where you can place the information I'm trying to figure the color I'm going to use for that. But let's forge ahead for now. Then you duplicate it. Control plus J. Then I will place this one here. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make it bold. Then semi bold. The font name is Josephine. Then I'll place it here. Then I'm going to select my set test tool again and drag. Then I'll set it over here. Then I will organize it. So here is inside. What are the inside in your magazine? 
so it will be like content picture the program of the day so etc okay right we are done with this then i'm going to draw another red angle around the end you drag and drop i don't have a specific color background for this now i will leave it but I'll maybe later i will change it from normal white to off white Then increase the font size. Then reduce the rent angle. Then you duplicate the rent angle. Ctrl plus J for duplicate. Then expand this one. Then leave it here. It's okay. Then you drag it to this position. The test is not here. I'm going to type it manually. Okay, what I did is to reduce the opacity of the white. Then I'm going to type it manually. Then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Apply adjustment to this by increasing it. Then group them one by one and apply any adjustment. So this is the first cover. That is the front page. Okay, now I'm going to draw a red angle for the back cover. The first red angle we draw is already in the front cover, so no problem by grating another one. Then import this image. All right. Then draw another rent angle. Then 
then I'm going to copy this column code duplicate then control plus V to paste I think this is the color I'm going to use for the first cover Then I'm going to paste that color for my first page cover so you can see at least this is okay let me apply this one and see the change again all right this is okay then I make the opacity to 87 So either 87 or 89, almost the same, so no problem. I want to change the test here. Founder Life Changing Foundation of Nigeria okay then drag this one down back then you drag the rent angle back okay so now i think this is okay for the first cover I prefer this color now duplicate this rectangle over here then duplicate it again now select them all reduce the size and rotate it then you position it somewhere here drag it again All right, then copy your appreciation test. Control plus V to paste, change the color to white. Increase the font size. Then you drag your test to again. So then replace it with your appreciation words. I'm trying to give it a design so you can put any one of your choice if you have ornaments you can place an ornament as your own design so whatever you can use that it will look nice then do it So I'm trying to adjust it for space. So now what I do is to group all of them together. Then and I will rename it appreciation. Then I'm going to group all of them together and this is my back cover then 
Then now is the middle cover. Then copy this text. Then I apply this dark. Then open the character spacing. So what I did is to rotate it 90 degree. So arrange it properly as you want it to be. So this is the center cover. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, give it, give it a top notch, like, share, and remember to comment. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. It has been you.